Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. There are so many creatures yet to be discovered in the Amazon River that it can be a little overwhelming at times. We have spotted many strange and unusual creatures in the Amazon rainforest, but even though we recognize them, we know precious little about them. Today, we're gonna to look at the most mysterious creatures of the Amazon River. Seven, black caiman. A black caiman is basically an alligator on steroids. They can grow up to six meters or 20 feet long with bigger, heavier skulls than Nile crocodiles and are the apex predator in the Amazonian waters. This means they are basically the kings of the river. They eat nearly anything they can get their teeth into, including piranhas, monkeys, perch, deer, and anaconda. Oh, and yes, they totally attack humans. In 2010, a biologist named Deis Nishimura was attacked by a caiman while cleaning a fish on her houseboat. And while she managed to fight it off, it took one of her legs with it. This particular caiman has been living under her houseboat for eight months, evidently waiting for the chance to strike. Sick bullet ant. The bullet ant brings a world of hurt in a short quick spurt. The largest ant on earth, the bullet ant, is up to an inch long, and with spry agility, it can cling to its targets, inflicting quite a punch. Appropriately named, victims claim that their bites feel like actual bullets, but the wound isn't deadly because it inflicts no poison and impacts no internal organs. As described by victims of its bite, the pain comes in 12 hour waves of pure agony, crescendoing and subsiding to the worst pain imaginable. It actually hurts so much that Amazonian tribal leaders decided to make these critters a part of puberty rights, so that getting stung by multiple ants in one sitting is how a boy becomes a man in their society. Scientist Justin O'Schmidt devised a scale to measure and compare the bites and stings of various insects. He created this unique sting pain index by subjecting himself to the bites of nearly a thousand insects. On a scale of one to four, the bullet ant gets the highest marks. Five, greater bulldog bat. The Amazon is unique for its population of bats. With vampire bats that sneak up on you in the night, they suck blood using their sharp fangs and are so quiet about it. They can often feed on their subjects for half an hour before being noticed. And yet these creatures are only harmful if they're carrying a disease like rabies. Otherwise, they're just like any other animal foraging for food to survive. Now, vampire bats may be the only mammal that survives exclusively off of blood, but they're still not the largest bats in the Amazon. The honor belongs to the bulldog bat. Named as such because of their characteristics, these flying foxes have a two-foot wingspan, and although they're harmless to humans, they'd be pretty creepy to stumble across in the wild. Rather than blood or fruit like other bat species, these mammals swoop down into the river after nightfall and hunt fish for sustenance using echolocation. Four, giant centipede. I am no fan of centipedes, so it would totally creep me out if I saw the Amazon's giant centipede. This creature is known as a fierce predator in the Amazon jungle, feeding on anything it can make prey of. Mice, lizards, tarantulas, birds, or insects. Given that they are 12 inches long, they have the advantage of length and can coil their bodies around their prey before feeding on them, alive! Humans are safe though, but I'd advise you to keep off. A sting from them can cause chills, fever, weakness, and harsh pain. Three, Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider of the Amazon comes in eight species. Its genus is considered to be the most venomous and terrifying in the planet. Its venom causes an intense amount of pain, and if left untreated, it can lead to paralysis and breathing challenges. If by chance you visit the Amazon, be careful about walking at night as they are nocturnal. They like their lonely cold nights because during that time is when they hunt. If I were you, I'd avoid walking at night altogether while in the Amazon. Two, bull sharks. While technically ocean-dwelling saltwater animals, bull sharks are quite at home in freshwater too. They have been found as far down in the Amazon as Iquitos in Peru, almost 4,000 kilometers or 2,500 miles from the sea. They have special kidneys that can sense the change in the salinity of the surrounding water and adapt accordingly. And you do not want to meet one of these in the water. It's common for them to reach 3.3 meters or 11 feet in length. And there have been reports of sharks weighing 312 kilograms or 690 pounds. Like many sharks, they have several rows of sharp triangular teeth and immensely powerful jaws with a bite force of 589 kilograms or 1,300 pounds. They're also quite partial to a bit of human being one of the most frequent attackers of people, along with tiger sharks and great whites. Combined with their habit of living near densely populated areas, this has led many experts to label them the most dangerous sharks in the world. Number one, the golden lance head. The Amazon River hosts 17 species of fatal venomous snakes, but the true villains responsible for 99% of humans being attacked are the pit viper family, specifically the golden lanceheads. 
the golden lance heads, is usually found in a connecting area between the main river and any Amazon buzzing, preferring to rest on dry areas around the river and wait for their prey to be nearby. There has never been any recorded bite by one, but other members of the vipers are responsible for more human deaths than any other snake in both North and South America, including the anaconda. The golden lance head is the fastest acting venom in their family. If you were to get bitten by one, the effect would include swelling, vomiting, nausea, bruising, blood blisters, blood in your vomit, kidney failure, intestinal bleeding, blood supply failure, brain hemorrhage, and all of your muscle tissues weakening. This makes the golden lance head the most terrifying. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up with my next video.